watching the TV. Uh, Absolutely. Andrea Peterson's is here this morning. Dylan Dreyer still enjoying some maternity leave. Good to see you. You guys ready for more slush? No. no. I mean, right? More slush. Apparently, what winter kind of started late. <laughs> you missed You're the joking, big one, right? Chanel. So I, I want to make sure you don't miss out any more of the action. Slush. I didn't say snow. It's like winter started late. We don't really know what we want to do out there. Mother Nature's a little confused. So we have a clipper. It's making its way through, and it's just enough to bring pretty much rain towards DC. Maybe some snowflakes overnight out towards New York City. Once again, we're going to be seeing rain, then maybe some slush, then maybe a hint of snow. All of this as we go, of course, through the weekend. Winter storm watch, the biggest concern is going to be right along the Cape. That's where we have the potential for gusts up to 50 miles per hour, and some of the heavier snowfall should be seen there. Now the rest of us. Once again, you guys have heard it, it is a coastal low. That means the guy has to form and then decide where it wants to go, right? So that's going to be the key again. We're going to watch it cruise up the coastline. Again, we talked about a little bit of that mix today. But by the time we go in through Sunday, look at the borderline here. Notice right out towards the Cape, they're looking at snowfall. But if this guy shifts farther to the west, that can change. So once again, it's all about the guy forming that hasn't formed yet. So about four to six inches of snowfall possible there. Most of you looking for about an inch of snow, four to six inches out towards the Cape. The rest of you, yeah, look for the wintry slush to continue throughout the day. Let's look at the big picture. Here's a look at your local weather. It's to be able to start those cars, you right? Got one job. That thing you got one down. job. You know, you we can... all forget. But... Uh, who's going maker. for the record Good today? Yeah, see? Uh, yeah, let's keep it between ourselves. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no one heard that. <laughs> all right, the rest of us are obviously... He's like, what? <laughs> Craig totally did not hear that. The rest of us are looking for warmth. The rest of the country, not so much, right? Look at this huge dome of high pressure that's moved in. Jet stream well to the north. So record heat. That's what we're going to be looking for the next several days. Temperatures much above normal. We're talking 20, some places 30 degrees above the average for this time of year. Look at this. Henderson, 89 degrees. Tucson, 90 degrees. Yeah, feeling a little bit hot for you today. And in fact, we're going to be looking at that potential even to break records. So Las Vegas, the record, 82. Look how far above the record you're forecasted to be. 89 degrees. Then as we go in through Sunday, yeah, this guy is hanging around. It is a strong dome of high pressure. So Omaha, 25 degrees above average. And through Sunday, Wichita, you see that number? 30 degrees above the average. Unbelievable. So, of course, more records possible even as we go in through Sunday. Look at these records here. 81 for Topeka. You could be looking at 84 degrees. Meanwhile, I just want a little bit of that warmth. Take a look at the big picture now. Let's look at your local weather. Orange room to explain. I'm still laughing at you, Craig. Da -da -da -ding. <laughs> All right, guys, that's right. And by numbers, I'm not talking about the scores because let's face it, there's a lot more to this basketball tournament than just basketball. So let's kick things off, starting with the March Madness impact on beer. Yes, three and a half million. That's roughly the number of extra cases of beer that have to be produced to keep up with increased demand. That is three and a half million, guys. Can you say beer belly? Yep, and with that comes pizza, of course, why not? The number there, 19%. The folks at Wallet Hub found that orders go up by that much if a fan's team loses. Anyone emotionally? I'm in with you. That counts for dessert as well. Orders increase 9% also after the losses. And by the way, March Madness can have an effect on college applications too. Turns out more students apply to schools that pull a March Madness upset. That was the case last year when Villanova won the tournament. Applications increased by 20 Two percent yeah. beer belly guys. I love the beer belly stats. Pizza. Now happy to have Joel Gorgiulo. Good morning Joel, to you. Party. Good morning, guys. Um, it's time for our, our weekly check-in with our favorite. In that video. Do, no, wait a minute. She got pregnant. Always be worse, right? Yes. yes. Well, Not the hell. worst case scenario, and you can do. Oh yeah, we all mm -hmm. multitask. The original video. You multitask like a champ. That is true. And you know what I did? Sure, those seven that kids was, can't That get was in. daddy's mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you you only start doing that since you saw the video? No, I've been oh. doing that because, but you sometimes you'll hear the. <laughs> or I'll do that in the bathroom. I'll lock the door. And that's when Child Mark. Protective Services showed up at Chanel Jones' house. Uh, let's start with the pop star show. We did not. We are going to ignore Shout out to Matt Carluccio right there. But we've got him in the league. Chris Pratt, Hollywood. All right. Thank you, Joelle. Thank you, guys. today on NBC. Although my heart is falling story about a group of photographers seeing life through a different kind of lens. NBC's Mariana Atencio met a woman making the lives of a special few better with a single shot. She is doing God's work. Isn't, isn't she? she? And you know, sometimes videos are great, but a picture, mm -hmm. you can't beat it. I agree. You know? behind the eyes. Exactly. Behind the eyes. Exactly. Yeah. All right, well, that'll do it for us on this Saturday morning. Tomorrow on Sunday, today, Willie we'll Chat. Question is, is this relationship the real oh, deal? Oh, I think we're the, the real deal. To that. Oh. No, have you no. seen the point like when it looks like the girl's fake laughing? You can see the girl like, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure, but the kiss, I've analyzed the kiss, and it's not a it's not a romantic kiss. It's a little bit more of a like business kiss. friends. I, business? I don't I don't know. I don't know.
Is that what Tim a romantic would kiss looks it. like? Here's the thing. It's, it makes for a great whatever fodder yeah. for attention well, for their for the duet, new video. For yeah. the great duet. PR. Oh, wait. There's one more thing we forgot about that was trending this week. Did you see this? No. It was everywhere. Do don't we still you, have that? Don't you do this. I think we what? still have that. Let's go back Thursday Instagram. When we were talking about Drake and J-Lo, that's the face credit was making the entire time. Thanks, Mom. You were so cute. Thanks. I can high five you from here. I will.